big interview time. It's always good to put the spotlight on people who are in these trenches all the time. we got the crew chief for Team Honda HRC, Shane Drew. Hey, you've been to the highs and lows, but right now it doesn't get much better than how it's turning right um, now. Yeah, other than a small hiccup this past week, but... Um, the chase, yeah. You see him go to the inside, he catches a rut long, bruises the front end, stop me if you've heard that before, and high side's pretty hard to do that next jump, so thankfully he was able to get up and continue. Yeah, the season, you know, we've been working super hard for years and years and years, and it's finally paying off, right? So yes. we got the, a bike, we got a good team, we got great riders, and it's finally the pieces are coming together, but uh, we'll soak it up as long as we can. Hunter Lawrence is the 250 East champion. Jed Lawrence is the 250 West champion. Chase Sexton taking the 450 title. It's funny because I was talking to you at Salt Lake City and it was finally becoming reality. You're yeah. finally going to win this title. And you talked about how long you've been chasing it. I mean, you were there when Carmichael won 20 years ago. I was here. I've been at Honda since 97, right? So I left for five years, but mainly since 97. So yeah, I was here. Me and Lars are probably the only team members that were here in 03 when Ricky won it. Yeah, it's been 20 long years, man. And there isn't a formula, I don't think. There's nothing you did this year where you can say, like, if we had just done this eight years ago, it would have guaranteed success? Or is there stuff you've learned through the years? Yeah, there's no guarantee ever, no. right? But, yeah, every year we try to improve. Like, yeah. man, we didn't do this very good. We need a better bike. We need to do this better with the team, with different morale or whatever. Yeah. So you're always evaluating and trying to get better. Right. But, yeah, I just think, like, say, all the chess pieces came together. We have a really good group of guys. We have a really good couple of motorcycles and fantastic riders. So, Talk about your background here. You used to race these races to a degree back in the day, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, if you really want to talk about that, okay, yeah. Okay, you're right. Uh, yeah. Well, you were uh, fast uh, in Canada. Yeah, fast in Canada. I was top 5 through 10 guy in Canada for many years. I yeah. come down and rode six nationals on average probably, yeah. a few supercrosses. Right. Had a two-digit national number a couple oh, of years down here. Yeah. That's legit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's my background is racing. How do you end up in this position? Uh, you're a mechanics chassis guy, now crew chief. I wasn't good enough at racing, okay. which almost everybody on here is a frustrated racer. So, um, yeah, I had an opportunity to come down um, and work for Nolene Yamaha back in 95. Okay. So I worked 95 and 96 there. Yeah. Um, got a great opportunity to come to Honda in 97, and, yeah, this is, this is my home. Being chassis suspension crew chief guy, it's a black art. There's not a, there's nothing on paper that says do it this way. How difficult is that job to wrap your arms around when so much of it is just feel and philosophy? What I've learned the hard way too many times is, you think you, yeah, there is something on paper. You do yes. it this way, yes. And then you fight it, and finally you get a different rider that, no, that absolutely doesn't work. And we're going to do this way, and that works for him. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you have to be open-minded and try all sorts of stuff. And then when you have young guys coming through, like the Lawrence brothers right now, yeah. how much do they know about testing at first, and how much do you have to teach them, and then eventually they know what to do? Um, that's a work in progress with every rider. Yeah. Even if they've been around for a long time, sometimes they aren't that good at testing. Or they're good at testing engines but not chassis or something like that. Oh, yeah. um, but when you got like the whole Lawrence package with Darren Lawrence and stuff, he's taught them really well. The biggest thing with testing is you just takes time. You have to put the effort in. Yeah. You, there is no magic setting you're going to come up with in two shots at it. Yeah. So it's just, if it ain't working, you just keep working, and you keep working, and you keep working. And that's what they're so good at. Sounds like what you guys done here for the last 20 years. Exactly. Just kept working, and finally it's working. working. Yes, yes. Enjoy it while it lasts, right? I will, because as we know, it could change at any moment. I've been to, I've been here a long time, right? Yes. So I've been to a few Anaheim's, A1's, where we've had no riders, because everybody's hurt. And Anaheim won? Yeah, and we think, okay, we got a good shot at it this year, and we have no riders. So, yeah, I'll soak it up as long as I can. They're gonna. Honda's got it all rolling, even without Chase Sexton right now. Yeah, hopefully have him back as soon as possible. Yep. Because we got to give Jet some competition out here. We would like to see that. Okay, we're going to wrap this show up. Keep on watching this weekend. We'll have more live coverage of Pro Motocross on Peacock. It starts with Race Day Live, presented by Motosport.com at noon Eastern, and then 3 Eastern, we will start four and a half hours of moto coverage. Again, on Peacock, I'll be there, Jason will be there, and James Stewart will join us in the booth. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.